Crystal certainly was the headline that caught my attention. Chicken sandwich frenzy meets the M&A market. Is this just a buy on some of the chicken sandwich craze that we're all in? Yeah, like we all had those moments in the past two years where you lined, where you see people lining up in front of, um, in front of, in front of Popeyes and getting that fried chicken. But that is actually one of the big reasons why Sanderson's is such an attractive asset right now. The demand for chicken has been very, very high. Food services outlet are stocking up, and you also have um, home cooks you know, also also has been as active as ever. So this is an interesting deal with um, combining the third and the sixth biggest yeah. chicken producers. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I am curious. I mean, when you hear third and sixth biggest, obviously that's not the first and second. Uh, and you would think that, okay, there wouldn't be any antitrust concerns. But even prior to this deal, there was a lot of talk about uh, how concentrated uh, the meat industry was, particularly with regards to some of the meat packers, uh, something that we saw, of course, when a lot of those supply uh, chain issues started to arise. Any chance here uh, that we could see this deal maybe run into, I guess, a little bit more scrutiny here from the government? Yeah, that's true. So because it's third and six, it likely will be okay. Um, it's not the first and the second, like you said. But the Biden um, executive order that came out last month actually had a specific mention in agricultural in the agricultural market, specifically meat producers and meat packing industry. So um, at the you know antitrust has been a big concern. A lot of focus has been in tech, but um, other industry also faces the same issues. So. It, they, there could likely be a little review, but um, given a third and six, they, they, they will be okay. Just talk to us about a 50-50 deal like this. How often do they occur? How easy is it to manage? It's not easy, but it's good that actually it is a JV between uh, the two. So, concerning of Grain Wayne Farm, it's a privately owned JV. So, this is... Um, essentially just going into that existing uh, partnership. But the inter other interesting thing I want to bring up here is that it's actually a perfect time for Sanderson's to sell, also because they have a succession issue. So the CEO, mm. uh, Joe Sanderson, is in his 70s, and he's the grandson of the founder, uh, that founder Sanderson Farms. And a lot of that has been, we had heard a lot of talks about potential uh, capital gain tax going up, and that motivated some sellers to sell their business. Um, I, I, I can't tell if this is definitely one of the biggest reasons, but uh, given the succession issue, it could very likely be one.